Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How long to decommission a nuclear power plant? Nuclear power plants are engineering marvels, producing massive amounts of energy. But what happens when their time is up? Decommissioning is the process of retiring a plant safely. It's not as simple as turning off a light switch. There are meticulous steps to ensure safety and environmental protection. First, let's talk about the plant's shutdown. The reactor stops producing power, but it's still radioactive. Fuel rods are removed and stored securely. Then the real work begins. The site must be decontaminated. This involves removing radioactive material from the equipment. Decommissioning is a marathon, not a sprint. It can take anywhere from a few years to several decades. The timeline depends on the chosen strategy. There are three main decommissioning strategies. Decon, Safstore, and Entomb. Decon is the immediate dismantling of structures. It's like cleaning up right after a party. Safstore is more like taking a breather. It involves maintaining the facility safely before dismantling. Entomb is when a structure is encased and left untouched for a period. The choice of strategy impacts the timeline. Decon might take less than a decade. Safstore can last up to 60 years, allowing radioactivity to decrease. Entomb means the site may remain untouched for up to 100 years. Safety is the top priority in decommissioning. All actions are closely regulated by government bodies. In the US, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission oversees this process. As you can see, decommissioning is a complex and lengthy process. It's a testament to our commitment to safety and environmental stewardship. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.